Gunther Messner was the younger brother of renowned mountaineer Reinhold Messner. Gunther and Reinhold attempted to climb Nanga Parbat in 1970, but tragically, Gunther disappeared during the descent. Reinhold claimed that Gunther had been swept away by an avalanche, but there has been speculation and controversy surrounding the circumstances of his disappearance. Reinhold's account of the events has been questioned by some, leading to various theories about what actually happened to Gunther on the mountain. Gunther Messner's disappearance on Nanga Parbat has sparked enduring intrigue and speculation in the mountaineering community and beyond. Reinhold Messner's version of events has been met with skepticism by some, who suggest alternative theories about what might have happened to Gunther. One theory posits that Gunther may have fallen into a crevasse or suffered an accident during the descent. Others speculate that interpersonal dynamics or disagreements between the brothers could have played a role. Reinhold's insistence on continuing the climb despite adverse weather conditions has also been scrutinized. Despite extensive search efforts, Gunther's body was never found. The mystery surrounding his disappearance has contributed to the enduring mystique of Nanga Parbat, earning it the ominous nickname Killer Mountain. The story of the Messner brothers continues to captivate both climbers and enthusiasts of adventure tales, inviting reflection on the risks and bonds inherent in high-altitude mountaineering. Boots found at the foot of a glacier. They belonged to Gunther Messner, who perished in 1970 during his descent from the summit of 26,660 feet high Nanga Parbat. The first boot was found in 2005, the second emerged 17 years later. <laughs>